Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife and in this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about grey squirrels. Let's get started. Grey squirrels are one of the most familiar and well-known mammals in the UK, so it may be surprising that they are not native to this country. They were first introduced from North America in 1876 and gradually spread across England and Wales. Unfortunately, as they colonised, they carried with them a virus that was fatal to the native red squirrels. They were also far better at remembering where they had stored food and could eat a much wider range of food than the reds. This eventually led to the red squirrels pretty much going extinct throughout the southern and central UK. A grey squirrel's diet changes throughout the seasons and includes acorns, bulbs, buds, fungi, nuts and roots. Occasionally, in the spring and summer, they will even raid birds nests for their eggs and chicks. They don't eat everything that they find straight away and will instead cache food throughout the autumn. This food helps them during the winter when unlike a lot of small mammals they don't hibernate and fresh food may be in short supply. Grey squirrels are active throughout the daytime only. During the night they hide away in a nest made of twigs, bark, leaves and grass. This is known as a dray and is sometimes hidden in the hollow of a tree but can also be constructed exposed in the upper branches or even inside lofts, attics or barns. It is in these drays that grey squirrels give birth from January to April. Each female will have between two and eight young which are known as kittens or kits. These are born hairless and blind and spend the first seven weeks of their lives being fed milk by their mothers. By the time they start to venture outside, they are miniature versions of their parents and after a further three to four weeks, they are fully independent and begin to construct and use a dray of their own. In the wild, the average lifespan of a grey squirrel is only one to two years, but in extraordinary cases, they can live beyond 10 years of age. In captivity, this is even higher, with one squirrel living to be 23 and a half years old. Their main cause of death is collisions with cars, but they can also fall victim to domestic cats, starvation, and increasingly to predation from recolonizing pine martens. No fact file about grey squirrels would be complete without at least mentioning their controversial reputation. Some people refer to them as tree rats, and there are regular calls for both local and nationwide culls. There is an argument that culling them would give red squirrels a better chance of recolonizing, and this has been shown to work on the Isle of Anglesey. There, the grey squirrels were completely eradicated, and the population of reds went from less than 40 to more than 700. A second, and perhaps more widespread reason for calls to cull them is the damage that they can do to forestry plantations. It is estimated that grey squirrels cause more than £50 million worth of damage to these plantations every year by stripping bark and killing saplings. Everybody seems to have their own opinion on the culling of grey squirrels, so please feel free to share yours in the comments down below. Well there you go, everything you could possibly want to know about the grey squirrel. Now if you did enjoy this video, check out one of these two other British wildlife videos and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.